pick and whetted the appetite of many photographers earlier this year with news that it was working on a follow-up to its high-resolution full-frame D810 in the form of the D850. When the wraps finally came off the D850, it struck up a similar level of hype to the company's announcements of its high-resolution D800 and D800E twins back in 2012. It was expected that the resolution would exceed the 36 megapixels offered by the D800-D800E and D810, but what wasn't so clear were Nikon's plans to radically increase shooting speed, boost the sensitivity range and add a whole host of other improvements. In the past, high-speed shooting and an outstanding noise response have been compromises you've had to make for choosing a super high-resolution DSLR. This is the reason that so many professionals carry around a model that's good for shooting at high speed and another that excels at high resolution, there's never been the perfect hybrid. Nikon's answer is the D850, which set its sights on being the perfect all-rounder dot on paper, the Nikon D850 has a jaw-dropping spec that's tailored for almost any subject or situation. While it isn't exactly cheap, 3499 pounds body only, it hits the market at a price that's lower than what many pros expected. The D850 looks incredibly promising and now the time has come to take a closer inspection. Inside the Nikon D850 is an all-new 45.7 megapixel full frame, FX format, CMO sensor, which does away with an optical low-pass filter. It packs gapless on-chip micro lenses, with a backside illuminated architecture to maximize its light gathering capabilities. Where the D810 could shoot natively between ISO 64 to 12800, expandable to ISO 32 to 51200, the D850 now offers a standard sensitivity range of ISO 64 to 25600, expandable to ISO 32 to 102400.